I want London to be the home of innovation and new technology, but Transport for London has got a very important job to do to make sure private hire vehicle operators are playing by the rules, the rules set down by Parliament. And I fully support the conclusions reached by TfL, which is that Uber aren't operating by the rules and TfL have therefore reluctantly decided not to renew the licence. And I can understand why Uber drivers, Uber passengers are angry at Uber for not playing by the rules. What's important is that we have in London a regime where private hire vehicle operators and taxis are operating safely and securely. It's instantaneous hailing electronically in the same way as you stand on the side of the street and put see an orange light on the front of a black cab, put your hand out, it's the same thing. And, and that's against regulations that were set out by, by Ken Livingston in 1998 when private hires were licensed. I use Uber, always, and because you know they are available on the phone, I can you know, quickly check how soon they'll be here and then it, it makes my life so easy not going, waiting for the bus, you know, whether it's raining or snowing or whatever. Yeah, I use it quite a lot especially when I'm at home because transport links are not that good, but here we just use it a few times a week when we go out. Before Uber was available in London, I wouldn't get black cab, generally, because I just find them very expensive. Uh, when Uber came up, I was like, oh, all right, okay. It's so easy for us to go from one place to another safely and quickly. So no, it's a shame, it's a shame. And it's cheap. Well, I don't think it's quite fair because the black cabs have to do all their study. They have to know where they're going, they have to know what they're doing. Whereas anyone else can just come along, get in a car and do it.